Sun shower. Session over. Lots of rain. At least I got a little bit in today. So basically, uh, the cops were called, which was really funny. The cop was super cool. Uh, Elliot, thanks for being cool. Uh, I guess someone said there was a bunch of kids uh, skating the bank, which is hilarious. And, uh, yeah, it was raining, so we were just chilling there. I guess someone thought we were a bunch of kids, so when the cop rolled up, super cool. He goes, man, I thought I was looking, looking for a bunch of kids, and you guys, that's super awesome. So uh, it turned out he was talking about his skate stories, too, as well. So uh, thanks a lot, Coral Springs Police. You are awesome. You didn't bust us for skating. So uh, plus it's raining now anyway, so cool. Thank you again. Pretty cool. My friend Shannon in Georgia, who I used to skate with back in the day, man, sent me this killer autographed uh, picture, which I'm pretty stoked on. So uh, we're going to open it up. Uh, pretty hyped. Oh boy. It says, do not bend, yet the post office had it wrapped in the mailbox. Stupid. How awesome is that? Billy Ruff. Sick. Look at that autograph. Thanks, Shannon. Awesome. Really stoked on this. I gotta get a frame now. So in my last past three vlogs, I've been actually focusing on Jump the Shark events. Uh, it's a really awesome gallery in Fort Lauderdale. And uh, it's one of the first places that I actually showed art. I'm actually an uh, artist as well. Um, and uh, every skateboarder whether they do music, art, skateboarding, it's all one big art form. It all coincides. And uh, <clears throat> I wanted to showcase one of my first places I've hung art. And uh, the owner, Garl, actually blessed me one day. And, and you know, I came with an ideal and, uh, to do a skate show with only skateboard artists. And uh, Lance Mountain was there, had his art there and stuff like that. And we had over 500 people in and out which was really cool and uh, i thank him for that because that was my very first curated show so i wanted to showcase what what i do this is a little more about who i am and what i do so uh if i'm not skateboarding that's what i do i actually go to the gallery um set up shows sometimes just hang art or just go hang out and uh, listen to music so uh, yeah and uh, i'm going to show you a couple of you know grip tape pieces that I do uh, on my boards and, you know, just give you a little bit more about me. So uh, I don't think anybody, you know, I keep giving little, little tiny tidbits, but uh, this opens it up a little bit more. Um, yeah. How many times can I go on? So uh, yeah, I'm going to show you a little bit and then uh, that's the end. So hopefully you enjoy. Have a great day. So right here, this is all done on grip tape, you know. Um, I saw Guardians of the Galaxy, and I had to obviously draw Rocket Raccoon in group. And then right here, and you can tell it's grip. 
It's definitely painted on grip. Um, Day of the Dead, you know, Skate and Create, you know, Punk isn't dead, you are, and then hashtag fuck cool. Um, this is my favorite quote because it seems like a lot of people try to like kill your dream and I say don't let the dream killers kill your dream. And that's actually uh, <clears throat> from a song in H Street, old H Street video that I totally can't remember the name of now so forgive me for that i think it was in hocus pocus i can't remember maybe it was shackle me not but I, it always stuck in my head so and then this was a little i love the beatles colors and i just wanted to do something that was kind of flashy i like fluorescent i think it just pops so i did a little mimic of that all over my grip this is actually, you know, I did for a Halloween show. I actually cut out of a skate deck, one of my old ones, you know, and just drew it on there. And then this. Now, if I don't have anything made out of skate decks, I always put something relative to skateboarding. So this right here is actually grip tape. You can see the pores and all that. So I always try to incorporate something grip tapey, and this right here, same thing. I didn't really use any skateboard. This was cut out of a skateboard deck, and then I uh, grip tape, and I always paint on grip tape. Um, the reason for that is because I went to a show, and I want you know. I think you should know the senses, the just everything, like all your senses are incorporated in art. And I touched an art piece and someone got mad at me. So I try to make mine where you can actually touch it and feel it. And, you know, just, just texture alone is part of the art. So I thought, why not? Well, and also someone at an art show did a skateboard deck and was like, I go, oh, you skate? And he's like, oh, no, I just, you know, it's a cool thing to do now. So that kind of pissed me off. So I tried to do my versions because I think that was whack but hey everybody's to their opinion but that's the cool thing to do is probably not something to say to a skateboarder <laughs> I guess I don't know I got offended I don't know why but I guess because he didn't skateboard and he just said it was the cool thing to do so not very positive <laughs> on my part but it actually pushed me to make sure my stuff was somehow intertwined with my skateboarding so, well, I got one last piece. Uh, this one right here. Same thing, cut out of the skateboard deck. And then grip tape. All this is painted on grip tape. So, uh, yeah, that is definitely, you know, I like, I like grip tape. I'm into this fishy thing right now. So, you know, this is, this is basically a fish splashing out of water. And these are all, the blue is actually the drips from the water and the white is just left, you know, like as this, as this, you're breaking into, you know, pretty much, you know, out of your box and you're letting everybody, you know, I just made that up. It just looked cool. <laughs> I don't ever have an explanation for a lot of my art. I just do it. It's what I feel. So, you know, I always laugh when someone asks me, uh, hey, what does that mean? Uh, I just thought it was cool, really. So, yeah. So, that is a little bit of my art. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Remember to subscribe, like, share with your friend. Have fun. Draw me a grip. I'm going to do something in the next few vlogs. So, a little creative stuff. So, enjoy. Have a great day. So, so this one right here, that just poof, magically appeared, is actually made out of cardboard. My friend Ruben... Ubiera used to do cardboard things and it kind of inspired me to play with it. So I wanted to do some kind of pop art with skateboarding. So I made stuff out of cardboard with canvas. Not complete yet. I have a whole series coming out, but I don't know. I like how it just kind of makes it look grainy on it. So it kind of makes it look a little raw. So that is my pop art, skateboard art, once it's done. And obviously, you know, I'm a big Ray Barbie fan. Duh. So uh, when he told me about, 
he liked those colors. He's like, oh man, you should do that on the canvas. Sean Cleaver, awesome. Thank you for the rag doll. You are the main guy who drew it, which was awesome. And uh, yeah, so I've been a big fan of the rag doll. So I drew my own version because Ray Barbie was like, oh, you should do that on a canvas. Have you done that on a canvas? And it kind of inspired me. So I did this. And I actually added real cards. So, uh, yeah, I kind of made a little, little real button. A little bit of, you know, Ray Barbie rules. Graphic rules. Just brings back so many memories. <laughs> 